Good morning, everyone. Um, good. Uh, as you said, uh, my name is Marcus uh, Ekstra, and I am an urban planner at the municipality of Sigtuna. But before I start my presentation, I would like to share some uh, some history for me. Uh, as uh, back in 2007, I had just uh, finished my studies at the Lekinge Institute of Technology. And I was about to commence my master thesis on sustainability in Toronto, Canada uh, in the fall. But then I came across this advertisement for a podcast conference in my hometown, Uppsala. And um, I didn't know that much about podcasts. I had heard about monorails and stuff like that going up in the sky. So I attended the conference and I found it very interesting so interesting that I would uh, do my thesis on podcasts in Toronto and how to implement them in the city structure. So um, when I got back to Sweden, uh, I got to work with the municipality of Sigtuna and after that I have been monitoring these questions for the municipality. And the reason of why I'm here is because I'm part of a group that are putting together an exhibition at the airport in late September. And you can see a glimpse, uh, a piece, that we will present uh, at that um, exhibition. This is uh, a visionary, visionary work. Um, it was in initiated by the airport uh, ourselves and also by the municipality of uh, Upplands Väsby. Uh, together with uh, Magnus uh, at uh, Compass and IST, um, we have put together an exhibition that will be held at the airport. And by that exhibition we will have seminars on PRT and also land development, which is crucial around the airport. Um, so uh, we hope that um, uh, the P PRT uh, could pose as a solution to current problems with transit modes. And this is where we operate, uh, just located north of Stockholm, about 40 kilometers. And as you mentioned, Carl Johan, the airport is in within the boundaries of the municipality, which creates a lot of problems, but also a lot of possibilities. And a more detailed map of um, the municipality, you can see the different settlements. We have Sigtuna, Sigtuna which was founded in the 900s, and Nasta, which was rapidly growing in the 1960s mainly because of the airport. And there's a bunch of reasons why we are doing this study and having this exhibition. Um, we have a few explicit ones, and that is, of course, uh, the physical aspect. Today, we have uh, access to the airport uh, through um, buses and trains coming in from Stockholm, Uppsala, uh, and Mashta, uh, and also other cities. But we need to have an accessible airport, so it's, uh, we, we need to have public transit that can be used 24-7, especially when there's a lot of workers uh, at the airport doing that, uh, working shifts and during some hours. And there's obviously the ecological aspect. The airport has uh, an env environmental permit, which allows them to, uh, to a certain limit, release some of the greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide. Um, and as you can see behind me, the, the diagram shows that, that this limit cannot be, re uh, cannot be breached. Uh, and the red color of the right one indicates that the ground transportation is even more than the traffic from airplanes. So it is vital for the airport to continue their business and also to make the surroundings accessible. And 
another aspect that is vital is the economic one. Um, there is a concept of the Stockholm Rapid City, which includes several stakeholders, including ourselves, the municipality, and also just the landowners around the airport, and also, of course, the airport itself. There's an ambition to create, um, to attract uh, companies that are in clean tech and good businesses. And there's a real potential for raising the, land, the value of the land. So this is, of course, also um, one of the reasons why we look into these kind of systems. But today I'm representing the news party Sikina and, of course, NASA, which is the closest settlement. So, I would like to push and focus on the physical aspect. There are about 15,000 uh, workplaces at the airport. And about 2,000 to 3,000 people living in Nashville. And, and 2,000 of the people living in the municipality uh, work at the airport. So, there have been lots that is even before I started working within the municipality on how to connect a cross connection between Nashville and the airport. And uh, as Pauline said also earlier, um, Nashville has really uh, changed after the decision to locate the airport here. The society, the post-war society, was born in the late 50s, and there was an increase in the civil aviation industry by the end of the 50s. But even before that, or about 50 years before that, the government of Sweden was investigating where to locate the new airport. Because Bomba Airport in Stockholm couldn't hold the capacity as they saw it. So this, the decision was made in 1957, and the representative of the municipality was asked to come into Stockholm and just answer this one question. They will build a service city for 40,000 people close to the airport. And of course, they said yes. Now, if we take a look at the settlements of Nashville before that, uh, I'm not sure if you can picture it or if you can slow it on the map, but it was a very rural and agricultural area by the time of the 1900s. So, so this was going to be a big change for them having to develop with even more people in there. And 50 years later, they had some industries. In fact, that, that is the townhouse, as you can see. I think you can spot one of my windows in my, in my office. But uh, there wasn't that much more besides one of the few industries and some more houses. And just before the year of the decision to locate the airport, that's what like this. We had a few more houses that had been built up, but it wasn't uh, a really an urban area. And this is an area of photo of of the settlement of Nashville today, or a few years back. And uh, also there have been studies uh, just recently, this year, uh, that states that there's a possibility to even uh, densify Nashville by about 15 to 20,000 people more. problems with the accessibility to the airport. And this is more generally speaking of the region for the Parliament of Nashville. Uh, people have a long way to commute and it takes a long time. And because there's wheels uh, from, from the planes, there aren't any possibilities of building houses uh, very close to the airport. So it's kind of a distinct area of just a commercial soul, but it hasn't been built up yet, so it's a, lot, a long way to go. But as I mentioned, 
tomorrow we need the next step, cross the next step, between Mausdaq and the airport. So a change of the transit system would bring great improvement on travel time and accessibility to the regional port of our Mausdaq. Thank you. 